Chloe and Halle have had an amazing year. They are two of the hottest artists to watch musically and visually. They have been killing it. Ungali Hour was one of the best albums released last year, and is an album that has consistently grew on me throughout the year. Their vocals, their chemistry, and their commitment to their artistry is quite fascinating. Even though Chloe and Halle are just now starting to achieve their big break, They've been doing it for years, taking on acting and singing roles at a young age, releasing their debut album The Kids Are Alright in 2018, and finally their sophomore and breakthrough album Ungodly Hour in 2020. A lot of people might actually remember them from Disney's Next Big Thing. They've been around for an extremely long time, and have worked endlessly to get to where they are. There's been quite a lot of discourse about the group's individuality. As many of you may know, Halle is getting ready to play The Little Mermaid in a remake of the classic movie, and Chloe is still producing and making music. They recently made separate Instagram accounts, and there's been a ton of unnecessary conversation about them splitting up and each of them showing off their distinct personalities. Chloe made a few videos participating in the Bust It Challenge and another one of her dancing around in her room in some shorts. And people didn't like this for some reason, and took this as a way to claim that she's thirsty or attention seeking, when in reality, it's just a way of her embracing herself and her body. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. When we started our Instagrams, it was like something new and different for you guys. And you kind of get to see like the different sides of sister and I, you see how we're the same and you see how we're different. And I think that's the beautiful thing about it because our synergy is really out of this world because you have two completely different individuals and you come together and you're like this. So a lot of times you see what Hallie and I are together. So now you kind of get like a bit of insight on who I am as a person. And there's been like a lot of talk and stuff about my Instagram and like my dance videos and stuff. And the funny thing is, the dancing one I did like with the blue light and everything. I did that like six months ago. I just shot it in my room because I really, really love to dance. And I feel like it's just, I feel so confident when I get to tap into the sexier side of me because all the people who know me personally, I'm really like such a nerd and I'm really to myself and I'm really, really shy. So it is like, it's honestly, it's taken a lot for me to show the world who I kind of like really am inside. So that was like, that was taken like six months ago. And then the one that was posted yesterday, I shot that almost a year and seven months ago when I was like in North Carolina for a movie. So the thing is you guys just get to kind of see who I really am as a person. And I'm, I, I'm really grateful for you all's support and love because it just wouldn't be right of me to show an image of me that I'm not like a made up, clean cut image of me that I'm just not, I'm just inside. I'm such a nerd and I like, I'm not worldly at all. Like ask anyone who knows me, they think I'm like 50 years old in the head. But when I perform, and when I make music and when I dance, that's when I get to tap into the sexier side of myself. And that's where I find my confidence. I'm not gonna cry this time because y'all know I'd be crying. So it really means a lot to me when I can finally get to a place where I share who I really am. And I've been like really insecure for a long time. And I'm finally like at that place where I have self-confidence. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> and I'm really happy that I get to share that with you all. And I think it's so important and so special when a black woman can be strong and stand in her power in every single way. You know, I do it musically with my songwriting, with my producing, I feel so badass. 
and I get the same feeling when I dance in my room, when I just own who I am and my body. And for so long, I used to think I was like fat and like I used to hate my stretch marks and my cellulite. I'm not gonna cry. <sighs> but it's like now I really love who I am. And I don't post what I post for validation from anybody or even male attention. It's just me. And a lot of people who know like who's on my like private Instagram, they see like I'm just, that's how I find my confidence because it has taken me a lot to appreciate myself and my body. There's been so many times where I felt I wasn't pretty enough, where I just, I have a lot of issues with my weight. So it's really, it's a pivotal time for me. I'm just now learning at like 22, almost 23, that it's okay to be all that you are and to stand in that power. And I, that, I think that's why I'm so appreciative of all of you who've been supporting me. And I'm not going to change who I am. If I did, I would be a catfish and you all wouldn't see the real me that my family sees, that Hallie knows. It's not a shock to her because she knows, like I'm like this all the time. And most of the stuff on my page anyways are like months and months old. But I love you all so much that I want to invite you in and bring you all in and show you who I really, really, truly am. I'm like, I'm such a nerd inside, but on the outside, I love to like, just even when I dance, I just feel really sexy and confident. That's where I get my confidence from. Ever since I was like a little girl, since I was four, I'd be shaking my butt in front of the TV, watching my idol Beyonce. So it's just always been in like, it's just always been a part of me. And I think you all are just now seeing it. And a lot of you all who have been showing support, it means so, so, so much. People who are shaming her for simply posting videos that aren't even risky to begin with are literally just going off of assumptions they made about her before she began to allow the world to see a different side of her and more of her personality. She is a grown woman that is also young and the ridicule she's receiving is just dumb. She truly didn't even owe anyone an explanation, but the fact that people on the internet pushed her to feel like she had to speak out is ridiculous. Allow this young woman to thrive in peace. The moment you've got people hating on you simply because you post a picture in shorts or in a nice outfit that highlights your body, you are on your way to the top because a simple Instagram post should not cause this much conversation. It's honestly just not that serious, but people took it upon themselves to slut shame and make her feel bad for doing the most normal and vanilla thing. And they went after her simply based upon their own assumptions of who they thought she was. Now with this conversation arising, there was also more discourse that followed, which is the talk of Chloe needing to go solo, which is just nonsense. They are two different people, so obviously they will have solo endeavors, but they've said themselves that they won't go solo. And for people to push that narrative, especially upon a sister duo, is just tasteless. Also, considering the fact that they just began to get their feet through the door and are finally blossoming, and people instantly want to pin the solo narrative on them is crazy. Like they haven't even had time to fully thrive and people are already trying to push the solo conversation in their faces. I'm convinced that people who say one member should go solo are people who don't even listen to their music. Because if you listen to their music, you would understand their dynamic as a group and how well they truly complement each other on all levels, from their songwriting, to the harmonies, to the production. They are a package deal and a fantastic duo. And that conversation is not something that needs to be had at this moment. Chloe and Hallie are so special. Two young black women as a duo who are making a name for themselves in the pop, R&B, and acting world. That's truly something we don't get to see a ton of. It's something people should be more aware of. They have a good discography, great chemistry, and are trailblazers, and they're just getting started. So let them continue to thrive in peace.